Oh, okay, then why are you going to the hospital? Carly's having an ultrasound. Tell her good luck. Prescription for hydrocodone. Oh, um, okay. I, yeah, I did talk to him earlier. So. Their appointments, Carly. Yeah, well, maybe you can reschedule them. Or maybe you could just go see them first and then come back. I'm, I'll pay you extra. I'll pay you double. I will, whatever you want. It's very generous, but it doesn't work like okay. that. Okay. Dr. Meadows, I just I really want to get this ultrasound done tonight, and I want Sonny to be a part of it. He was away from me and the baby for so many months, and I just... Can you just please give, give me just a couple more minutes? We can print a picture for him, and we can also make him a video. A video? Mm-hmm. Uh, you know what? I think a video would be great. Why don't you set all that up? Mm. You wouldn't be stalling now, would you? No, he's gonna be here. I promise. Hey. See, I told you. <laughs> Sorry I'm late, Dr. Mann. Carly was determined to wait. She said that you mm. were very anxious to see this baby. Yes, well, we just want to make sure that he's healthy. Is everything okay? Yeah, I just, it was a little bit at home. It's nothing to do with business. How you feeling? I'm okay, a little nervous. I just, um, I know everything's going to be okay. I know you're fine. Okay, we're going to start. You're going to watch the monitor. And in a minute, you should see a clear image. There it is. Ah, oh, you were right, Carly. It's definitely a little boy. Hey. Hey, you. God, they're little boys. You, Sonny. He's right there. Oh, I can't believe that picture is so clear. And with the new technology, you can actually see your child's face. He has dimples. <laughs> I'm not sure that's right. But he is definitely healthy. And he has a strong heartbeat. And he shows good development. Wow, he has been through so much. Little one. I told you that you would be all right. I'm late for my next appointment. I'll leave you two to look at your pictures, and I'll be back to complete the exam. Thanks. Wow. Can't believe that we can see his face. He's gonna be a heartbreaker just like his daddy. You have good money, kid. He was gonna be a little boy, right? Well, yeah. And maybe now you will learn to trust and respect my instincts. <laughs> I respect you. Yeah, well, sure you do now. Now that I'm gonna give birth to your son. <laughs> but you're awfully arbitrary, you know. It's a good thing you found me because I don't know. What other woman would put up with you? You choose a person. You choose a life. What do you mean, Sonny? Nothing for you to me. 
Hey, what's wrong? Hmm? What's wrong? You seem like you're on overload. It's just, it's a lot to take in. You're right, you know, we are running out of time. We haven't even signed up for birthing classes. Do you, do you want to take them? It's, a, it's up to you. Okay, I'll tell you what I know. I know I want an epidural, and I want as many drugs as they will give me, because that labor pain in South America was enough to last me a lifetime. You must have been afraid. You know, it's funny. The only labor I've ever experienced stopped halfway through. You know, since I was unconscious when Michael was born, I only remember going to the phone and then waking up with Jason sitting beside me. Hey, do you think you'd feel better if we took some birthing classes? Well, I'm, it's, it's, not, it's not about me. Well, yeah, it is. You're the father. Hey, half of this is your fault. Yeah, I know. Whatever, whatever you, you want to do. I want to make sure that you are in that delivery room with me. So we can watch our baby being born together. Oh, I cannot wait to hold him. The minute he is born. And then if you're really nice to me, I will share him with you. <laughs> Whatever you say. Uh, but since he's inside of me now, then... I guess you could hold on to the photograph. <laughs> you can have it. No, you get it. You take it. You, you, you... No, no, no. I, I want to... We can show it to Michael later tonight. Well, maybe tomorrow, I mean, because, you know, he may be asleep when we get home. Where's that doctor at? It was, you know what, sweetie, you don't have to stay. And she's just going to come on in and ask me a few more questions. Okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go ahead and wait in the lounge. Okay. Hey, while you're out there, would you, would you mind grabbing a couple forms on the classes, just in case we decide to take them. Yeah, yeah. Hey. What? Don't be nervous. <laughs> Everything's gonna be fine. I love you, you know that, right? Mm. I love you. Hey. What's up? Everything okay? Fine, fine. Uh, you, you speak to Morales? Yeah, shipment's on schedule. Should land next Tuesday. Gotta make sure security's tight. It will be. C Courtney, tell you where I was at. No, no, I haven't seen Courtney. I, I picked up the message on voicemail. Courtney had an ultrasound. They, they print up the picture. You ever seen one? I've seen him before, you know, a couple times. Uh, it's a boy. It's a, it's a boy. <laughs> yeah, Carly was right. I bet she's happy about she's that. She's smiling, you know, just lit up from the inside. You, know. you can almost see the baby's face. I never thought that. Is, there, is everything okay? Fine, the baby? fine. He's perfectly healthy. It's good. Carly, why am I telling you this? You just lost, you know, you and Courtney just lost the baby. This is... So everything's confirmed with the Morales, right? Yeah, yeah, no, yeah, everything's okay. complete. Yeah. All right. Yeah, yeah. Hey, is uh, Carly still, you know, thinking about maybe naming the baby Morgan? Or... You know what? Doesn't really matter what the name of because... It doesn't matter if the baby's, you know, healthy, he's got a strong heartbeat. Because something's gonna happen. I just got a feeling. I know it doesn't make any sense, but it all started when I saw him on a monitor. It would destroy Carly if she lost his baby. But he's my son. And I just can't stop thinking. He's never gonna be born. Where's this coming from? 
Your baby's fine. You and Carly just saw the ultrasound. Well, that's exactly what I'm talking about. Up until now, you know, the baby's been a hope, a promise for the future. I touch Carly's stomach, it's fantastic, you know. But after seeing the ultrasound, this baby is real. Curled up inside of Carly, waiting to be born. What if it doesn't happen? There are real dangers. Present one. The work we do. How bizarre. The fact that my, my brothers are insane and he can go off at any time. Or, you know, Michael came close to dying. And my baby could be facing the same complications. But that that's not what stopped me cold this afternoon. I lost my first child to a car mom. And, you know, my second AJ pushed Cody down the stairs, right? yourself against it that's instinct for survival but that's not what's gonna happen i never got this far with a child of mine okay is there any worse hell than getting all the way here and losing another child but that's what this the, the price i gotta pay for how i live you know for everything that i do i did see the same with me i can't tell you that you're wrong but you gotta live through to the other side. I mean, you gotta hold your baby. You're gonna name that boy, you're gonna introduce him to Michael. Come on, you're gonna bring him home, you're gonna watch him grow up strong like Carly, brave like you. You know what, that's what you gotta remember because this is Carly's baby too. So even if you think you don't deserve a child, you know, maybe God thinks Carly does. Listen, uh, Carly's probably going with the doctor. Can you take her home? Yeah. yeah. All right, that's something I, got. I just got to do something. Just, uh, you know, I, I just want to do everything possible to ensure the safety of my wife and child. Well, it appears you're looking for guarantees, and there are none. Yeah. Even in the best of circumstances. I mean, it's possible that anything unexpected could go wrong. But I'm telling you, the odds are in your favor. Accept it. Oh, must be my lucky day, because I was just going to look for... Excuse me, Doc. I need a minute with Mr. Corinthos. Certainly. Uh, enjoy this time. It doesn't come around very often. What time would that be? Okay, you know what? I'm... I'm not in a mood for any games you want to play. If you've got some fake charges on me, call my attorney, will you? Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. I know how busy you are. So Little, yeah, cut right, right. To, right to the okay, chase. Okay, there was another attempt made on Elizabeth Weber's life tonight. I'm beginning to think there's a little voodoo doll around town here someplace. What happened to her? Hit and run. You know, I was looking at Elizabeth. She's a very tiny little girl. You notice that? She looked like a broken doll in that gurney. And then I got to thinking, boy, oh boy, that's some revenge on Rick for what he did to Carly. He told me that you pushed Elizabeth down the stairs last spring. I tend to believe him because I think that you're a low-life Corinthos. I think you're capable of anything to make Rick suffer. Are you spotting another bogus theory just to hear yourself talk? Or do you actually have proof that I was anywhere near well, you, you say this was. This has got your stench all over it. You're just trying to, you're, tr you're trying to provoke me, aren't you? It's not gonna work, Baldwin. Okay, okay, just to, uh... What? Let's not argue here, all right? Let's... If you didn't do it, right. any idea who might have? Oh, don't even bother coming in. Look, you're too late. Rick isn't here. I'm not interested in Rick. I'm here to follow up on a conversation we had months ago. Oh, really? Well, 
shocking as this may seem, I don't remember your every word. Oh, you're going to remember this. Last time Elizabeth was in the hospital, I walked in. You you uh, were standing over with a, with a pillow in your hand. Yeah, I told and you she looked uncomfortable. Now, you wanted to smother her, and then I told you that she was under my protection, and her sudden death or unexplained accident would be an unfortunate occurrence for you. You didn't listen. You ignored my warning. And you went out tonight. And you ran Elizabeth down. Gonna have to pay. You private detective. Anyway, why does it matter so much who hit the calamity waitress? When you're seeing a little crush here, Sonny? You know what? I'll be glad to get rid of you, not to hear that smart mouth. Should have eliminated you a long time ago, but you know what? Sometimes I'm too nice, you know what I mean? So, <clears throat> I told you to do something, you didn't do it, right? Mm hmm So now, you're gonna have to pay for the consequences. Really? Well, yeah. Clue, I don't work for you, I'm not your wife, and I've never obeyed anyone in my life. That's because you never learned respect. And it's too bad now you're going to learn it when it's too late. Oh, Sonny, I have so much more respect for you than you realize. You make it so I don't have a choice. But I am not as stupid as you think I am, okay? Mm. I value my life, especially lately when it's looking up. So why would I sabotage it right now by trying to kill someone who is irrelevant? Shut up. Look, can you explain the damage to your car there? Well, you don't understand. It's not my car. It's Rick's. Does Rick know you uh, borrowed his car to run down his wife? I have my own car. Why would I borrow his? Oh, I don't know. Maybe to frame him for murder? Why would I do that? I well, love he, him. See, he's rejected you over and over again, right? <laughs> and even though you, you, you do sleep in his bed every night, he wants to go back to Elizabeth. If he wants to spend his life with a whining little simp, what can I do about it? Maybe, maybe you want revenge, right? You kill his wife, you send him to prison. What could be sweeter than that? You know what? I'm not the one who wants him to go to prison. Elizabeth wants him in prison. How many times has she ratted him out to the cops, huh? I wouldn't be surprised if she jumped out in front of the car to frame him. Okay, Did you see her doing here's that? Here's your choice. I call the cops. Right? Tell them what's going on here. Rick gets charged with hit and run, maybe attempted murder, or I go with my gut. You did it. You disappear. Rick did it. Somehow I knew you were going to say that. I knew you'd give up Rick to save yourself. Elizabeth drove him to it. She's relentless. Okay, just a hint, okay? If Rick is deluded enough to ask you to testify on his behalf, don't say Elizabeth asked for it unless you're setting up Rick to pay for what you've done. I did not run Elizabeth down. Okay, you got any proof of that? Go back to the house. There's a packed suitcase. Call the airport. Huh? Ask about the next flight to New York City. Rick is on it. He admitted that he had no future with Elizabeth after what happened tonight. His words, not mine. He practically confessed. Maybe I believe you, maybe I don't. But one thing's in your favor. I hate Rick even more than I hate you. Capelli, could you imagine if I was crossing the street and he saw me, what would he would have done to me? Huh? Sir? Could, what is it? You have a call that says it's important. Who is it? It's Sonny Corinthos. Give me that. Get out of here. Yeah. I've come across key evidence in uh, Elizabeth's hit and run. What kind of evidence? It's sitting in uh, Rick Lansing's garage. Goodbye. Oh, boy. My day gets better and better. Corinthos is going to cooperate with the law. How about that, huh, Capelli? Well, I guess I'm supposed to ask why, right? He's got evidence that proves that you're guilty. Oh, you're on time for once. What do you got? Uh, is the forensic team on the way? Because I think they're going to find this very interesting. You know what, Corinthos? I'll be the judge of that. Hiya, Faithy. Excuse me. What do you think? Hmm. Looks like somebody had an accident.
Yeah, I guess whose car that is. Rick Lansing. That's what I figured. That's why I'm working on a search warrant. Did tax dollars at work? Did it feel good to pick up the phone and call the cops? Do something right for once, huh? Save me a lot of trouble. <laughs> uh, not really. But anyway, since, uh, you know, I've done this and that, um, I should probably go all the way. What else you got? Well, Faith, she's got, she's got some more information. Well, spit it out, Faithy. Come on, Mrs. Roscoe, you can go ahead and just speak up anytime you want. Uh, Rick was planning to leave town tonight. His bags are packed and he is booked on the first flight to New York City. You two, a couple of model citizens. I wish we had more of them. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Yeah. You know, I'm, I'm putting together quite a case against your brother. Yeah? Yeah. Well, what do the cops say? Uh, I'm only going where the, where the evidence takes me. Well, evidence or not, uh, he swears that he's innocent. And he's getting scared. That's why he wants to see you. Corinthos is here to see his brother. Lansing already has a visit. Good. The more the merrier. time alone with him. You are not gonna listen to this psycho. You know what? That's not your concern. If you try and help this guy, you're... That's... not your concern. So did you really find evidence against me? Well, you know, you pride yourself on your intelligence, but then you do stupid things. You don't even cover your tracks. Doesn't that tell you something? Well, I'll tell you why, because you're arrogant. Always have been. You park your car in your garage with a smashed headlight. You deserve to get caught. When I parked my car, there was no smashed headlight. Nothing anywhere. I'm being framed. No better than anybody how much I love Elizabeth. Sonny, I couldn't kill her any more than you could kill Carly. Will you stop saying... What I'm trying to say is, yes, I have done terrible things, all right? In the name of love for this woman. But I could never turn that kind of darkness or that violence against but her. But you'd turn it against my wife, wouldn't you? Yeah, that was the biggest mistake that I could have made. I can believe you were framed. Um, yeah. Faith Roscoe could have done it. Well, Sonny, could you go to... Could you go to Elizabeth and tell her? I mean, she respects you. Right? You could tell her that Faith tried to kill her, and I didn't. Why would I do that? What do you mean? Because you just said that you, you know that I'm framed. Yeah. Fortunately, no one else thinks so. Evidence backs her up. I'm innocent. You really think you're going to get away with what you did to Carly? Chain her up like an animal in a cage after all the it has hell nothing you, to do with after that. all the hell you put her through. Your own wife's sending you to prison. I like the balance in that, don't you? Scales of justice. The woman with the blindfold. Sometimes she gets it right. Don't I'm out of here. Don't you do this? Yeah. Don't you walk away from me? Oh, oh what? You're all of a sudden you're going to play ball with the cops? Is that hey, it? hey, hey! Get it? Hey, get him! Hey, get him. Hey, what are you for revenge? Put your coat of arms hey, now. Calm down. Get him. Get him out of here. Hold on. You might have a new witness. No. I saw. I saw a blonde get out of a car. She walked over to Elizabeth and just looked at her. Elizabeth was on the ground. I thought she was dead. The, the woman didn't even check to see if she was okay, then she just drove off. Did you swear to that kid? I called 911. What did she look like? She was short, wore black, really blonde hair. We don't know who that is, don't we? I don't see you in a couple of hours. I'm just gonna run some errands. Hey. Hey, you'll have to wait a minute, Mrs. C. Why? I'm... In a hurry. Uh, Johnny and I have to get back up on the door so we can walk you to your car. That doesn't make any sense, Max. One of you stays here, the other takes me to the garage. I've... Presto, we're covered. I've, uh, doubled security. 
Why? Is this on me in particular, or, or is this a general thing? Uh... Never mind, I'll run my errands later. Carly? What? You're free to go about your business. What's going on? Well, I'm just, I'm just being careful, you know. I'm better safe than sorry, all that kind of stuff. Why? There's nothing to worry about, Alcazar's not a threat anymore. Well, he's still out there, and, you know, um, I don't want to take a chance with you and the baby, especially at this stage in your pregnancy, you know. Alcazar is not going to hurt us. The baby is fine. Dr. Meadows said so. She's you know what? After everything that's to... happened, why do you always have to question what I say or do? All right, Sonny. What's really bothering you right now? There was a moment when I was getting the ultrasound and there was something uneasy. It came across your face. It was almost, I don't know, it was worry. It was almost being scared. Does, doesn't every father to be worried about fainting in, in the delivery room? Well, I don't know about all expectant fathers, but I do know that you are going to be the best, most solid birth coach that any woman could ever want. No? You're my rock. I get strength from you. I know that you're going to keep me calm and focused. It's just a, it's just a moment of insecurity. I'm, uh, it's not a big deal. I think you saw our baby on the ultrasound. Alive and safe and healthy. And you got scared that we're going to lose another child. It's not going to happen, Sonny. I'm just doing everything I can to make sure it, does, it doesn't happen. Well, you need to stop feeling so guilty. You are not a curse on our children. Sweetie, when we lost the baby, I, you know that I blamed myself. I, I thought God didn't want me to have any more children. He didn't want me to be responsible for the growth and the development of another child because all these horrible things I've done in the past, and I finally realized it wasn't true. God does not punish babies for our mistakes. Our baby died. And there's really, there's no answer. There's no reason that we are ever going to understand. It's just kind of the way it is. It wasn't your fault. It wasn't mine. It's just what happened. What if it happens again? It's not going to happen again. This baby, this one right here is our miracle baby. He's breaking the curse. He's going to be born. He's going to come home and be a part of our family. And everything is going to be just perfect. You need to realize that you are not a curse to our children. You're going to be their greatest blessing. I love you. I love you. Mm. Come on. What are we doing? We are going on upstairs. Yeah? Into our new baby's nursery. We're going to spend some time. Inside your club before it opens. I'll be waiting. So how long will I? Hey, what are you doing, Mama's phone? I'm waiting for Frank to call. Give me phone. Want some grapes? Mm -hmm. Anyway, his mom's supposed to take us to the movies. And yeah. I saw a message on Mommy's phone, and I thought it was him, but it was just some man. What do you mean, some man? What did you say? I don't know. He said he wanted to meet Mommy in front of the club. He said it was important. Oh, Sonny. Don't run down the stairs. I'm not running. I'm hurrying, and you need to as well, because we are late. 
For what? For what? Um, birthing class. My mom signed us up. Why? Because she's meddling, because she spent the last few months worrying that she'd ever see me again. I don't know. The point is, it, it, we have to go. We can't get out of it. Can you call her, tell her I, I have business? No. She's teaching the class. Oh, that's just <sighs> worse. Funny, come on. She wants to do something nice for us, and we need to let her. Why are you just remembering this now? I, I don't know. Hormones. Okay, listen, the hospital just called to confirm. They said we need to be there in 15 minutes. Come on, we gotta go. Okay, oh, oh, okay. This, this is like a, like a public class with parents and all that? Yes, it's what she said. Well, you know what's gonna happen. Oh, yes, I know what's gonna happen. None of the other parents are gonna learn a thing because they're gonna be so busy looking at you, your beauty, and the fact that you're... Sonny Corinthos, the gangster. Oh, my gosh, can you believe that criminal? He's got a wife. Can you believe they're producing offspring like normal human beings? I wonder if he's going to be born carrying a gun. Those are the things I'll say. Did you tell Bobby any of this? Are you kidding me? No way. Come on, she wants to do this. She wants to do it. Okay. It's nice for can her. Can you tell her maybe, like, it, uh, it's not good because it's security, the security risk? No, I'd rather not lie to my mother if I can help it, okay? Listen, if it's really that big a deal, I'll go by myself. I'll tell my mom. No, 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 no. We'll go to we'll all go together, but I'm gonna have to leave early, you know. Mm. Well that's oh. not a problem. Thank you. Oh, you're welcome. Come on. So what are we gonna learn at this? Am I gonna have to teach you how to like breathe? No, or I think you're just gonna have to learn to hold a baby and change dirty diapers or something. What? Like that. Yes! Oh, what's wrong? Frank never called about the movies. Oh, honey, I'm sorry. You know what? Let me check my messages. Maybe we missed him. I already did. There's only one new message. Really? Well, who was it then? Some man who wanted you to meet him. Did you erase it? Daddy listened to it. Maybe he did. your time. You're not going to be meeting my wife tonight. Okay, honey. I need you to think. I need you to try and remember. The man who called me, was his name Lorenzo, maybe? I don't remember. I was waiting on Frank to call about the movie, so I forgot. Okay. Well, maybe you can remember it now. Call Daddy. He was in the message. If he's with the man now. Yeah, Michael, I, I think he is. And that's that's why I need to find him. Do you make a habit of checking your wife's voicemail? Why'd you call her? Well, I'll explain to Carly. You want her to come along? Yeah, and you're here instead. I mean, look, you keep sending your flowers gifts you keep showing up the same place she is it's got to stop uh Gazaris, my relationship with carly you have no relationship with carly you use her as a bargaining chip i got her back end of transaction well this is more than a business negotiation for you maybe for carly as well i'm in a position to get what i want and you are powerless to stop me you think so I see it. You're living on borrowed time. Unfortunately, neither one of us is in a position to eliminate the other. Carly would never forgive it. You held my wife hostage. You you risked the life of our child. Carly doesn't give a damn if you're buried in the ground. The truth is, you're not good enough for Carly. She needs to know she has other options. Also, oh, you think you're going to take my wife? See, you make it sound like I'm threatening to steal your car, take your watch. Carly's not your possession. She's married to you. Marriages end all the time for all kinds of reasons. My marriage won't. Carly's intelligent. Perceptive. She'll see you for what you are, a time bomb waiting to explode. A man will bring both her and her children down. Do you really think Carly gives a damn about you? I know it. Funny. You okay? Yeah. Michael told me about the message. 
Hello, Carly. You need to stop her. Oh, hey, my hey, 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 it's not, it's not dangerous. Not, it's not, see, I just, I kind of just figured out. He's like a, a, like a boy scout, right? Who has a crush on the girl in camp. Really? Yeah. I, I, I don't get it. Well, see, he's in love with you, mm. right? And he wants to, he wants to prove it to you. Oh, that we belong or right. together? Yeah, oh, I see, I see. You don't actually believe this, do you, Alcazar? Husband's doing the talking, not me. You held me against my will. You are the reason Courtney lost her baby, and you almost killed Jason. You got in the way of business negotiations. All right, Lorenzo, your life is this miserable waste, and it has absolutely nothing to do with me. I disagree. Well, then you're a fool. Because Sonny and I love each other, we have been through hell and back together, and no one's breaking us up. You can... Go ahead and go now. Because they're still playing, don't you? I mean, his life is empty. His brother's dead. He's got nothing better to do than uh, try and make our lives miserable. Why can't you admit that Alcazar wants you? That you're strong, beautiful, smart? Huh? Mm -hmm. Well, no matter what he knows, I'm not going to leave you. Ever. Mm. Especially not for him. Yeah, but you know what? What? Maybe this is supposed to be like a date, you know what I mean? <laughs> You're gonna set up some tables, right? Uh -huh. Candles. And then, uh, you know, challenge you to another game of bat game. Uh <laughs> <laughs> All right. Come. You. What? I don't care. Candles, bat game. Uh -huh. Come on, man. Come on. I love you and only you. You know what? We both know Alvazar can't come between us. But he's still a threat. Sonny, our lives are always going to be filled with risk. It's just the way we live. Because the choices I made, Alvazar knows that he's going to exploit it. He's not stupid. He's not going to hurt someone I love because then he cannot get what he wants. You already turned him down. Well, got nothing to lose. He never had me in the first place, you. And? I love you. And I'm always going to stand by you. Oh, God, I got it. Mm, do you know, the whole time I was away, this is what I missed most. Did you not just hear me tell you how comfortable <laughs> I was? Yeah, but you, 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 you missed us more, believe me. What? What?
Oh, I uh, didn't realize. No, it's all right. Uh, club staying closed. Yes, sir. <laughs> Come back. He's kidding. What do you mean I'm kidding? I'm not kidding. Yes, you are. I've got paperwork I need to no, do. No, well, I want to take you home, you know. Yeah. I have a couple invoices. Let me just get them first. Okay, hold on. You, you rest. Uh, I'll get them for you. Very nice of you. Yeah, well. I'll get the lights. Hey. Is that for me? By yeah. Chance? It just came via messenger. I just signed for it. Oh, thank you. Probably from Mayor. Jason about it at the island, and, and I think that you both deserve to know, too. What is it? Um, after I injured my neck and my shoulder, the doctor prescribed me some pain pills, and I, uh, I took more than I should have. And not just for the pain in my shoulder, but for some reason, I, I thought it calmed me down, when really it just made me more out of control. I'm so sorry. I, I knew something was wrong, and I, I should have asked. No, Carly, come on. You did. I, I didn't even know myself. It just kind of snuck up on me. Well, you know, if you need help getting off the pills, we just will set you up with the doctor, whatever. No, whatever really, I'm, I'm all right now. I am Jason and I, we, we talked about it. I threw out the rest of the pills. I just, I wanted to explain, I and mean, that's part of the reason I was so out there. I'm, I'm glad I'm glad it's over now. Yeah, me too. Um, Jason, um, I assume you called uh, Emily while you were away? Yeah, those are the only calls that I made, actually. Did she tell you that Elizabeth <clears throat> is in the hospital? No. Well, what, why? What happened? She was a victim of a hit and run. Well, do they know who did it? Well, uh, last I heard, Faith Roscoe was the prime suspect. We should go see her. God, I was awful to her last time she tried to visit Jason. I, I owe her an apology. Yeah, I, I think she'd like a visit from you, too. Yeah, okay. Check in with you later? Yeah, right. yeah, yeah. Okay, see you guys. See you, hi. You know, I'm exhausted. You had a long day. Yeah. Yeah. I think maybe I should just go. All right, let's go. You know, you don't have to come if you don't want to. If you've got no. business you need to finish and stuff. And... What, do, what, do, what do you want? Let me speak to your husband. Well, well you... can you see I'm, I'm busy right now, Rick, or not? It's a matter of mutual importance. You know, I'm just, I'm going to go. Come here. What? I'll talk to you I need your help. Well, I'm the wrong person to ask. Well, I don't Rick. think you're gonna have a problem with this. Faith Roscoe needs to die. You want 
faith Roscoe's dead? After all the time she stood up for you, huh? Loyalty is not one of your priorities, is it? Hey, Sue, you all right? You saw my car in my head like a smash. She's the one who did it. Our forensics couldn't come up with anything. I don't want this woman walking around so that she's free to do it again. Look, you hate this bitch as much as I do, and you can make this sort of thing disappear. I'm not doing your dirty work for you, Rick. She is done. She's done more damage to you over the years, and having her gone would be good for you, too. You've made deals with Scott Baldwin before. How do I know this is not another setup so that way he can, he can have it? No, all I want is Dave's gone. You want to take care of this or not? Because if you don't, I'll find somebody else. Here's your chance. What the hell is this about? That's Courtney's car. Yeah, I know. How did you get that picture? It's not important right now. Courtney told me that her car was stolen when she was out of town. Did she also mention she's the one who ran down Elizabeth Lansing? Rick was just talking about you. I'll bet. Uh, if you don't mind, I would like to uh, speak to Rick. I'd like to do it here with our witnesses. Oh, yeah. Huh. Suit yourself. I'm gonna... No, actually, could you stay? I don't want there to be any misunderstandings. Hmm. Yeah, can you make it quick, though? I wasn't driving the car that hit Elizabeth. Yeah, an eyewitness put you there, uh, standing over her body right after the accident. I was driving by in my car. I saw her lying in the street. I stopped to see if she was hurt, and then I walked away. It never occurred to you maybe to, like, help her out? Why should I? Uh, well, they're in the street bleeding to death. You know that if Elizabeth died, that would be just fine with me. But I did not try to kill her. This time. If you are looking for justice for Elizabeth, you're on the wrong track. I didn't hit her. Someone else did. I saw Courtney at Elizabeth and keep going. Oh, and you just happen to be there. What an amazing coincidence. I saw Courtney in the park before the accident. She was upset, emotional. She dropped a bottle of pills. She shouldn't have been driving at all. I followed her home to make sure she got there safely. A few minutes later, she hit Elizabeth. How'd you end up with Courtney's car? I stole it before the police could find it. To protect her, I suppose. That's right. Okay. Here's another scenario. Uh, you stole Courtney's car, and then you ran down Elizabeth yourself. Why would I do that? To frame Courtney and gain leverage over Sonny. Sonny and I agreed to a truce. And you did it to get to me. Now you're half right. I'm protecting Courtney for your sake. I doubt she even knows she hit Elizabeth. All right, Lorenzo. Let's cut to the chase. What do you want? Nothing. Mm-mm. -mm. Don't do anything or nothing. How do you know? Best experience. You even boasted about it. You are a businessman. Everything is a means to an end. Maybe I wanted to improve your opinion of me. Is that so terrible? I love my husband. And you are trying to prove to Sonny that you can get to me. You are wrong. I don't want your help. Are you sure? Listen, you want my gratitude. You tell me where the car is. What are you going to do? It's not your business anymore. Look, if you tell Jason that Courtney was wrecked on pills and hit Elizabeth, how do you think he's going to react? Hmm? What about Courtney when she finds out? You're going to be putting both of them through hell. You know, you don't give a damn about Courtney and Jason. Well, that's true, but you care. It was an accident. Elizabeth's going to be all right. Courtney never has to know. No one does. Except you and me. I can dispose of the car for you. No. I want you to do that. I will take care of this myself. Give me the keys and tell me where the car is. If you insist.
can't be our secret. Hey, she's not here. Where'd she go? I don't know. She hasn't come home yet. Carly Meyer, that's all. She, she, uh, she left her club on foot. I don't think she, she could have gotten very far. No, we didn't fight. I'm, look, I don't, who knows what Carly does? Uh, the, the point is, she's pregnant. She's at risk. I just need you to get everybody you can on this and call me as soon as you hear anything. outside the main entrance. Uh, Carly must have gone out through Kelly's. I'm telling you, she did, did this on purpose. She did this. She wanted to go out on her own. Are you, are you going to be okay? Yeah, no, I'm fine. Just right. go. So, you don't worry. We're fine. We, we, don't, don't worry about my, my, that my pregnant wife was kidnapped for months. Now she's ditching her guards. What the hell is she doing? What if something went wrong? What if somebody took her again? I'm okay. Is the baby all right? Yeah, he seems to be. Well, when I gave you the keys to Courtney's car, I figured you'd get rid of that. I had no idea you were going to get yourself pulled off a cliff. And then why'd you follow me? Well, it occurred to me you might need a ride home. And I couldn't imagine you were going to call a cab to come to the cliff where you were going to ditch the car. And I didn't want you walking back to town in your condition. You're pregnant, Carly. You need to be more careful. Yeah, well, why don't you ditch the car, then? I offered to, and I would have, had I known you were going to risk your life to get rid of it. You sure you're all right? 
Yeah, I just need a place to clean up. Maybe I should take you to the hospital. No. I'm fine. The baby's fine. He's kicking. I need a place to wash up. Guest room down the hall. Second door on the right. You know, you don't know me at all. You've no idea the kinds of scams I've pulled off. I'm looking forward to learning all about them. The point is I understand how you think everything costs. So what do you expect from me in return for this? Certain the car went into the lake, and no one saw. What about the tracks? Did you cover them? Go back and double check. Make sure there's no evidence to connect Carly to any of this. What the hell are you doing with my wife? Where's Carly? Carly's gone. I didn't take it. If you've done anything to her, I would never hurt Carly. Let's go. I'm gonna give him time to clear the building and then I'm out of here. Why didn't you tell me you were here? You know what, Lorenzo? You should just be glad that I didn't. I don't understand you. I don't know. I really don't. I don't understand how the man who talked me through premature labor, the man who wanted to help save the world with Sophie Germain, could turn around and accept exploit Courtney's pain, because that is exactly what you did. It's the only reason that you covered up the hit and run. It's all a game to you, isn't it? I'm not playing. Yeah, you are. Know your enemy, that's Sonny. Exploit his weakness, that would be me. And the closer I get to my due date, the more wired Sonny's going to get, and it is exactly how you want it, isn't it? Um, I'm sorry to worry you. Oh, I'll be home. Listen, I love you. I'll drive you home. No, you won't. Are you afraid of your husband? Of course not. I understand. No, you don't. Sonny came here tonight because he's worried about me. Because his first wife was pregnant when she was killed in a car explosion that was meant for him. And if he found out that I almost fell off the side of a cliff because... because basically I played into your hands, he'd kill you. And you don't want me dead? I want you to leave me the hell alone. What if I can't? <laughs> Lorenzo, you are too smart to chase after something you can't catch. I love my husband, and I'm never leaving him. Here, just keep looking, Meyer. Could be her. Hi, uh, it's me. I know you must be crazy. I just, um, I got tangled up in something after I left you at the club. I'm sorry to worry you, but, um, I'll be home really soon. I love you. How's it sound? I'm not scared. Kind of tense, something. I, I don't want to fight with her. Sonny, then don't. But she disappears, she ditches the guards. You know damn well she's going to walk through that door and lie to me instead of admitting where she was. Whatever she's doing, she probably thinks it's for you. Are you defending her? No, I'm just saying what you already know. Carly does things that don't make sense to anybody but her. I mean, she used to be out for whatever she can get. Now she's got what she wants. She has you, she's got Michael, she's got the baby. So if she's lying, sneaking off, she's probably thinks she's protecting you somehow. I hope you're right. All right, well, I'll keep looking for No, no, you know what? Don't even bother because you're probably going to trip over all the people Meyer's got looking for. Go back to Courtney and uh, 
apologize to her that I dragged you out in the middle of the night searching for Carla. Hey. I'm sorry. I'm really... What? I'm sorry. What happened? You and stuff. I just... I got caught up after I left the club and um, things just yeah. took longer than... Well, I was thought. very worried yeah, and I'm very upset. sorry. Ups Please, uh, don't be upset, okay? Why don't you tell me where you really were? What do you what do you know about the car? I hate when you lie. I, I I go deaf, I go blind, I don't hear your explanation. I can't see that you still love me. All I know is the woman who swore that I could trust you. Just proved that I can't. Don't do this to me. Don't take us back to that place where I cannot look at you. You left the club. You ditched the guards. And you went somewhere where you didn't want Johnny to take you. Why? I went to see Alcazar. Were you in Alcazar's apartment? When Jason and I were there? Yes. You hid from your husband in another man's apartment? I was trying to help Courtney. What is... Here, okay, I... wait, wait, wait. What does Courtney have to do with you lying to my face and, and meeting a man you know who wants you? No, Alcazar, he, he sent me... You're trying, you're, trying, you're trying to get some attention from him? Is that, is that what's going on here? So you encourage this man by going to his house... And lying to your husband about where you were. Is Courtney that what's happening? Courtney is the one who hit Elizabeth. Who cares? Alcazar had her car stolen. He sent me a picture of her car with the front end smashed in. And that is the only reason that I went to meet him. What are you... Listen, after I left the club, I went to meet Alcazar on the Elm Street Pier. He told me that he saw Courtney in the park the night that Elizabeth was hit, he said she was upset. So he went to follow her. He claims that he saw her run Elizabeth down. And you believe him? He huh? offered to get rid of the car. So there'd be no proof. I didn't believe him, so I took the car myself. You were afraid to drive. I know, Sonny, but Courtney, she lost her baby because of me, trying to save my life. So the least I could do is cover up an accident she doesn't even remember. Where's the car happened. now? Where's the car it's now? It's at the bottom of the lake, below Salisbury Point. You drove the car to Salisbury Point and pushed it off? I drove it to the edge, where it starts to get steep. I put the car in neutral, and I released the emergency brake. I figured it would just roll down on its own. And it did, Sonny. But I slipped. You fell? Yeah, I fell. I <laughs> slipped, okay? The, the dirt, it was loose, and I just... I couldn't get my footing, and I was... trying to reach up, and I screamed, and then Alcazar, he pulled me up. He said he followed me because he didn't... I wanted to make sure I was okay. I didn't want this. What? This. What? This, you, how you're looking at me, how upset you are, how mad, how scared. So I went to Alcazar's apartment to get cleaned up, and then you and Jason walked in, and I hid. Oh. I didn't know what to do with so that So you're, you're grateful to Alcazar, right? So you wanted to protect no, Alcazar. No, I wanted to protect Courtney. Oh, okay. Uh, Honey, you heard her. You heard her talking about the pills. You heard how ashamed she is. And if she heard that she was the one who hit Elizabeth, she'd be devastated. And your solution was to, co to cover it up, to keep a secret with the man who kidnapped you. You risked your life and our child instead of telling me and knowing that I could handle it. I didn't want you to tell Jason. I'm gonna tell Jason! You know why? Don't you think that Courtney has had enough? 
Don't you think she's hurting enough? Jason's gonna go to her, he's gonna tell her, and then she's gonna punish herself. Honey, I love you. I love you, and I don't want to keep any secrets from you. But Courtney, she's like a little sister to me, and, and when Alcazar sent me that picture, I'm sorry, I didn't think any further ahead than keeping my little sister safe. Hey, uh, I need to speak to Sonny. This is about Courtney? Yeah. Uh, look, I know you guys are in the middle of something. I'll just handle this myself. No, no, you know what? Uh, we were talking about Courtney just now. Alcazar claims he saw her hit Elizabeth. Alcazar claims he saw Courtney hit Elizabeth, and he stole the car to get rid of the evidence. Well, what'd he do with the car? You're not gonna like this, but he gave it to Carly, and she drove it off Salisbury Point about two hours she ago. He, you, rolled, you rolled the car into a lake, Carly? What the yeah. hell are you thinking? What about the baby? Okay, you know what, Sonny? Already told me that I'm stupid and I'm not a good mother. I don't you need know, to hear not, it from you not that you're, again. you're not a bad mother, okay? You always say you're not gonna do this. You take these chances. You swear it's the last time, but it's never the last time. What, what if something happened to you? The point is the car's gone. Well, Courtney wants me to find the car. What do you mean? She had a nightmare. She thinks it means that she hit Elizabeth. Well, you told her she didn't, well, you right? Just, you told me she did. Well, she doesn't have to know, Jason. Yes, yeah, she does. Courtney has been through enough. She's hurting badly enough. Did you, why do we need to tell her another thing? Telling her the truth is not going to make Elizabeth see. It's not going to fix anything. It's only going to devastate Courtney. Come on, just don't do it. Just don't hurt her like this. actually think you can trust Alcazar? No. No, I, no, don't tell me what you think I want to hear. I want to know what you feel. I, I know that Alcazar is not going to hurt me, or the baby, or Michael. I, he's not going to physically hurt us. I don't know, maybe Alcazar doesn't know, maybe he doesn't care how much I hate fighting with you, how much... God, how much I hate feeling like a failure because I wasn't enough or because I made the wrong decision. Why is it, why is it always your last impulse to trust me? It's not. Look, I told you why I did this, and if, if you don't believe me, no, I, I don't okay, know hold on, wait, I convince. believe, I, okay, I, I believe that you were trying to protect Courtney, but for all you know, Alcazar could have stolen that car, banged it up to try to convince you of something that happened when it didn't. You're, you're right, Alcazar manipulated me. But I'm fine. The baby's fine. The car is gone. Can't we just... let it all just end right there? No. Yeah, just end right there. I always figure out when you're lying. Because I used to lie the same way. To protect the people I love, to keep them from getting hurt, you know. But in the end, the lie, you know, hurts the worst. Sometimes it can kill you. Maybe it's just the business I'm in, huh? you know, I mean, you know, if you're a plumber and accountant, you don't need to trust because your life isn't at stake. Mine is, so is yours. I could have lost you and the baby tonight because I didn't know where you were. Because you lied. Yeah. It can't keep happening. Just so you know, I didn't, you know, I don't think you're stupid or a bad mother. It's just that you, you I was worried, I was, I was mad. You scared the hell out of me. And I don't handle it well. We 
sent someone down to Salisbury Point to make sure there was no evidence. It was too late. The cops found Courtney's car. The cops are going to use this to go after Courtney. I, I can't believe they even found the car so fast. I mean, I can't believe they found it at all. Well, there was an eyewitness you didn't know about, or this is Alcazar's way of setting it up. So what if they do forensics on the car and they figure out that it's the one that hit Elizabeth? Courtney's car was stolen. There's no way to prove who was driving. God, I just should have come to you. I should have come to you as soon as I got the car. Yeah, you should have. So, uh, I told Courtney that Alcazar says she hit Elizabeth and that I think it's still set up. It's not. But do you remember hitting Elizabeth? No. Then you don't know what happened. We, we need to figure out what to well, do. Well, there's complications now. The cops found the car, so the car's on the way to a forensics lab. You know what they're going to find? That I was driving and I hit Elizabeth. Okay. You need to think and not just react in the moment. I just did that. Please don't make the same mistake. But I hit her. Okay, like Sunny said, you can't remember, so yeah, we don't know. I don't sure. remember because I took too many pills. You're ashamed you took the pills. Doesn't mean you hit Elizabeth. That's, that's right. I mean, don't let your guilt over one thing spill into something else and take the blame for something you didn't do. Carly, Alcazar told me. Forget Alcazar. He tried to kidnap Carly, didn't work out. So now he wants to be her friend, act like a hero, plan her gratitude. Well, heroes like to save people. Carly's not available, so you're the next best thing. Lorenzo Alcazar treats me like dirt. No, I'll tell you what's happening, okay? He's using you as leverage. Sees you in the park, right? You're upset. You're on pills. He knows Elizabeth Weber got run down. He knows you're out of town. Steals your car, smashes the front end, and convinces Carly that you're in trouble. You know I did it. You all know I did it. That's why you're trying so hard to explain it Courtney, away. We're, just, we're, looking, we're looking for a way out here. For some reason, you don't want to find it. I'm so sorry about all this. No, you were putting yourself through hell over something you didn't do. Sonny is right. Alcazar, he engineered this whole thing just to get to me. Why are you convinced that this is a setup? Oh, oh Carly, what did Alcazar do? He sent me a picture of your car with the front end all smashed in, so I went and I met with him. He gave me the keys, he told me where your car is, and I tried to get rid of it. Because you think that I did it? No, because I didn't stop to think. Look, I was just so worried about protecting you that I didn't think of Alcazar's true motives. Okay, look, I believe that Lorenzo Alcazar would cover for me to impress you, but that doesn't change what I did. I just wanted to get her out of the country. Do we find a way to handle this? You think she did it? I don't, I don't know. But when she was taking those pills, she was pretty out of control. Okay, I'll tell you what I think. I think uh, I was one of, you know, one of his men saw Courtney run down Elizabeth, and I was using it to his advantage. Even if the forensics proves that Courtney did it, we can make these charges go away, right? Well, as long as, as long as Courtney keeps her mouth shut. She feels guilty. She wants this over. I know, you know what I mean? It's possible that Alcazar stole a car. He had someone run a little bit down. Keep believing. Courtney keep, keep innocent. Keep telling yourself that. Keep believing that. All right. Open up, Corinthos. We have a warrant for your sister's arrest. Open the door, Corinthos, or Mac's going to kick it in. problem. Where's your sister? She's not here. Huh? Honey, why are they here? Why did Max throw them out? Well, he tried. You see, now he's in handcuffs, leading a cop on a tour of Jason's empty apartment. Any idea where Jason and Courtney might be? No, and if I did, I wouldn't tell you. Where's the model citizen who ratted out his own brother? So you think you have the right to just go over to Jason's apartment and just, you know, go in there anytime you want? A warrant's been issued for Courtney Matthews' arrest for attempted vehicular homicide. Why would Courtney want to kill Elizabeth? 
Hell hath no fury like a woman about to be dumped for the ex-girlfriend. I've got a sworn affidavit from your loving brother, Rick. Oh, a sworn affidavit uh -huh. from a pathological liar. That's going to go big in court. What do you think? He swears that he saw Courtney in the park the night Elizabeth was mowed down and that she was out of her mind with jealousy because she thought that Jason was stepping out with Elizabeth. Oh. Rick Lansing kidnapped my pregnant wife, held her hostage for months, plotted to kill her and take my child. He will say anything. He will say anything to hurt my family. Yeah, why don't you go to his house and check out that prison he kept me in again? You know, the jury might be interested in the uh, witness's history of psychotic behavior. Oh, oh, I see. But then again, that would make you look like a complete incompetent for believing Rick in the first place. The uh, search of Morgan's apartment came up empty. No clues as to where Jason Courtney might be. You're over eager. Bodyguard is back at his post. So I'm going to ask you one more time. Where's your sister? I have no idea. Okay. I'm putting APB out on her. Okay, do me a favor. Don't slam the door when you leave. Because this, okay. this is exactly why I wanted to stop this disaster before it started. I wish you would have been. Are you coming? I'll be up there in a little while. Just, I gotta think about some things. Okay, well, I'll wait. Well, you almost died tonight. Come on, you know, need some rest. But I want you to come with me. But if you do, then just feel you lying next to me, still angry at me. If you don't, I know you're just going to fall asleep on the couch or stare out at the window doing everything you can to get as far away from me as you can while you're still in the same house. It's a lonely feeling, Sonny. Why do you put it between us? I mean, you know, you know, when you lie, I can't get past it. Did you see your sister's face? Your little sister who just lost her baby, who may not be able to carry another one because she was trying to save me. She hates herself right now, Sonny. I knew she would. Just like I knew that you would go to Jason and he would go to her and tell her. I had one chance to do something, so I tried. I love my little sister, but I, I need to be able to trust my own wife. You know, Sonny, I'm sorry. I am sorry. I just... I don't know. I've been kidnapped. <laughs> I was chained to a wall. I almost lost our baby, and I... I don't know. I'm a little stressed out. And I messed up. <laughs> I just know I don't want this distance between us. Wait, 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 wait. Come on. Come on. Sorry about what happened to you. I appreciate that. Thank you. If you need, you know, anything. Not that you owe me, because you don't. This is about Courtney, isn't it? You know her, her car was stolen the night you were hit? No, I, I, I didn't know that. Anybody could have been driving it. Oh. Uh, and you want me to tell the police that, that anybody was... anybody except Courtney? 
I just, I just want you to be truthful. You didn't see who was driving, did you? No. No, the lights were trying to brighten my eyes. It would be great if, if you made the cops aware of that. Get the hell away from my wife. Is everything all right with the baby? He's fine. What, 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 why are you asking? He took a bad fall last night. I saw you here. I thought there might have been complications. No, I came with Sonny. He's here visiting Elizabeth. You know, the whole cover-up, stealing the car, pushing it over the cliff, it was all for nothing. Courtney has just spent the entire night at the police station. She confessed. I thought she couldn't remember what happened. Police found the car. Is that what you wanted? Lorenzo, did you set me up? So first, uh, Jason comes by, then Courtney, and now you. He asked you to lie for If we're in the middle of a private conversation What did he offer you, Elizabeth? Here? What, medical bills? Maybe rent and tuition? This is none of your concerns. So what's the story now, Sonny? The car's red instead of blue, right? And the driver's male, 400 pounds, black hair. Elizabeth and I, we understand each other. Oh, I'm sure you do, but it doesn't give you the right to come in here and threaten my wife. That nobody's threatening me. No, your sister's the one who did this, and she's going to pay. Do you, want, do you want me to call security or get somebody up here to help you out here? I'm fine. I Are you sure about that? Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. If, if you need anything, you just let me know, okay? Thank you, Sonny. You know, he doesn't give a damn about you. You know, Sonny helped me out long before you ever came along. And for no reason, just to be kind. Yeah, yeah, he did that so that one day you would be indebted to him a day like this. No, Rick, that was... How well do you think this man stays in power, huh? He's a self-serving human being. Everything he does is for his own benefit. You, know, you don't even care who hit me as long as you have a reason to keep your money done. That doesn't give Sonny the right to bother you. Know you know what, Rick? My ears hurt. I don't want to hear you anymore. Just, just get out. No, I'm not going anywhere. We're fond of Courtney. I was trying to help. I have no idea how the police found her car. I don't believe you. I think you do. I miscalculated badly when I turned Courtney's car over to you. I thought you'd get rid of it. But I had no idea you'd get yourself pulled off and blood. That is irrelevant. You almost died because of a situation I created. That's a chance I won't take again. You won't have the opportunity. I'm not your friend. Lorenzo, I don't even want to know you. Don't do me any favors. Don't send me any messages because I will turn them over to Sonny. And he's going to be out here any minute, so why don't you leave? Last thing I want is to make more trouble for you. Remember anything? Well, that could help. Your attorney's out of work. I think they questioned Courtney all night. Hey. Hey. Oh. You're not supposed to talk to me. Oh, please. We're going to get you out of here right away. They found Elizabeth's DNA on the car. Was probably loving this. Yeah, but she doesn't actually remember hitting Elizabeth. Well, I don't know. If Elizabeth didn't see anything, then, you know. You, know you think in reasonable doubt? Maybe, but. Connie's got to keep her mouth shut. Excuse me. I'm here regarding Elizabeth Lansing. How are you involved? I saw the entire accident. I know who was driving the car. I was on the street. Elizabeth Lancer was in the crosswalk. Car hit her and kept going. We know all that. Who was driving? Well, at first I thought it was Courtney Matthews. But I've learned otherwise. Just in the nick of time. Sullivan. The driver was a low-level car thief with long blonde hair. Didn't stop because the car was stolen. Any idea where he might be? My associates picked him up. It's just outside. Why didn't you come to us before with this? I needed to be sure. I realize there's a lot of confusion surrounding this case. Go check it out. I hope this has been helpful. 
If uh, this guy checks out, we'll drop all the charges against Courtney, at least for now. Feel free to contact me if you have any questions. Well, I hope I've been of some assistance. Any tough people, sir? chose to start this, you better make sure you finish it. Make sure your guy sticks to the story. I know what I'm doing. Yeah, and I know why, because for whatever reason you're trying to impress Cardi, so that way she'll owe you. Simply telling the police what I saw. You're gonna get paid back. Uh, but not the way you're looking for. Maybe I just wanted to help. You'll have to decide for yourselves. The uh, guy checks out. You're free to go. Thanks, Tom. That's it. So the human lockers aren't going to do? No. So did it work? Are you grateful? Look, we don't owe Alcazar anything. I know. I'm not mad. I don't care what he does. He can't touch us. So Alcazar helps Courtney beat this hit mine charge. He's gonna think we owe him something. He has not made any demand yet. He will. Maybe not. You know, he's trying to play hero for Carly. He shouldn't be asking for things, you know what I mean? You ready? Because <clears throat> we don't want to be late for your appointment with Dr. Meadows. Yeah. Um, right? Yeah. Okay. If you, if you, I know you got a lot going on. If, if you're too busy, you, it's okay. I want to be there. Hold on. Are you okay? Hello. This is him. What do you mean? When did this happen? Uh, okay, you know what? I'll be right there. I get, I'm oh, sorry. Wait. i got to take care of this. You're going to be all right by yourself? I can take her. All right, I'll be, I'll be there soon. All right? Okay, okay. Well, that didn't sound very good. Carly, I'm worried about you. Hmm. What's wrong? I'm just tired. Come on. I mean, you, you obviously don't want Sonny to go to the hospital with you. I mean, you looked relieved when he got that phone call. The baby, he stopped kicking. I assume you'd been notified. Who reported it? Groundskeeper. Who's responsible? We don't know. It's probably vandalism, you know, kids who watch TV shows about vampires. Better find him, Mac. Better find him fast. Because otherwise, I'm going to get him. We'll take care of him. Wonder where they took it. Yeah, police are going to investigate. Police can't protect people who are alive. How do they, how they get to the about somebody who's been buried in the ground for seven years. They desecrated a grave, Jason. My wife and child were buried there. Find a Mac. Wow, like the fingers where you can really see them. The new technology provides a lot of detail. It's so real. It's a little person already. Dr. Meadows, is the baby okay? Well, he's doing fine. But, but he's usually so active and he's... Well, it's not unusual for him to 
to settle down at this stage of his uh, development. So are you sure that he's okay and nothing's wrong? Well, it's getting a little crowded in there. But why don't you think about your baby as being quiet and cozy? Okay. Well, that sounds good. <laughs> okay. He's doing fine. I'm just a phone call away if you need me. Thanks. Okay. I knew it. I knew I was just being ridiculous. It's just that the baby has been through so much, and I just thought, Sonny, he's just jumping out of his skin. He's so concerned that something bad is going to happen again. And I... All right, the baby's fine. That's all that matters. Courtney, you were really such a good friend, and I don't know... Such an idiot. No, I mean, you're not. He, yeah, I was completely insensitive. Really? You've just been through a major loss, and, and I was being oblivious no, and dealing with my own insecurities. I, I wish I had done the same. I'm sorry, but you need to you need to listen to me. Science, it happens, so do miracles. Dr. Meadows did not say that you cannot have another child. She just said it may be difficult. You know what most things in life worth having are? Don't just give up. Wow. Kylie and baby, it's, it's beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, if he's anything like his daddy, oh, is he going to demand all the attention that we can give him? <laughs> we? Well, yeah, we. I mean, a baby's full-time job, and... God, I hope that, you know, you'll help. You and Jason are his godparents. I'm going to need a lot of well, help. you don't <laughs> even have to ask. Oh, yes, I do. Because I need you. So, do you promise that you will be there no matter what? Yeah, I promise. <laughs> oh. And, um, in the meantime, let's just keep this little meltdown. Us. Otherwise, it's gonna just make Sonny so nervous. I wonder where they went. Um, wherever it is, it, it's gotta be important. Otherwise, he'd be here with me. You know what? Can you show some respect? Why don't you go ahead and leave? Now. Yeah, just leave. This is wrong. This is wrong. Well, I don't know who did this to me, but I tell you what. I'll find out. I'll bring you back. Truth is, you never left me. The moment you died is burned into my mind. I see it over and over and over again. But I don't want I don't want to talk about that. I want to just... Remember how you lived, the way you took care of me. All you did is love me. I should pay for what I've done. Not you, not Carly, not Michael, not my unborn child. Do me a favor. over them. Protect them if I can. Yeah. 
Did you want to see? Yeah, everything was fine. But then Carly started feeling really sick. Where's the doctor now? She's getting the test results. Okay, I'm gonna find her. <clears throat> Sonny, wait, wait a minute. Dr. Doctor, Dr. Minnows will be right back. My wife's in pain. She shouldn't have to wait. No, but the best thing you can do for Carly is just stay here. Somebody just dug up by this grave. Carly's in trouble. It's not a coincidence. Dr. Meadows? Hi. Hi. Is everything all right? The baby's in no danger, Mr. Corinthos. Well, so is Carly all right? Well, she's dehydrated, and it can cause very severe pain. Dehydrated? Mm-hmm. You need to keep up your fluids. Well, she will. I'd like to admit Carly for observation. Okay. Well, you know what? If it means Carly and the baby are safe, then I'll pay for a room, a nurse, whatever it takes. Well, I don't think complete bed rest is necessary, but you do realize you are in your last trimester, Carly. It's time for you to start slowing down. I will do whatever you say. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Doctor. Mm -hmm. I'm glad you're here. Yeah, sure, I shouldn't leave you alone, yeah? cook. But you love to cook for me. No more stairs. We'll move you to everything to the top floor. Oh, that's practical. And we can hire a nurse. Sonny. Mm-hmm. I didn't drink enough water, so my muscles started to ache. It's like a hangover. Did, did, I will survive. Did you not? Oh, you will survive. Did mm -hmm. you not hear the doctor? It's your last trimester, and you, you got to be even more careful. Actually, I think her exact words were, I needed to slow down a little bit. Yeah. Hey, how'd you get so dirty anyway?
Carly. I heard Carly had been a minute, so I stopped by to see her. She's sleeping. Are she and the baby all right? It's none of your business. But I know Sonny doesn't want you near her. What are you going to do? You tell Sonny I had the audacity to come visit Carly while she was in the hospital? You know what? Keep pushing Sonny out, because I... We'll see what happens. I thought Carly would be with you. No, she... She wanted me to rest. She wanted me to come home. But, but she's okay, right? Yeah, she's fine. How long have you been here? What? I just came in now. The lights went out, so I came over. What's, what's going on? Sonny, I mean, you look like you've seen a ghost. No, it was, uh... I was, uh... I was out outside, and, uh... I guess it was a lightning or something. So, something like what? It's like a... a woman. On the terrace? It's not possible, I know that. I'm, I guess it's just building, you know, I'm stressed now, you know? One thing after another, you, Carly the baby. I got a lot of enemies. Somebody was outside tonight. I think I know who. Oh, my God! One of these days I'm going to sue all of you for harassment. What? What happened to the pink dress? Oh, hello. Do I look like the kind of person who owns pink anything? The wig! The makeup! Get, I haven't got the slightest idea what you're talking about. Do you about. think I got off the boat yesterday? 
I know it was you. You're familiar with the layout here? You could set it up, make it look real? Um, too bad there isn't someone here who to translate for you. You violated Lily's grave, didn't you? Huh? Uh, would that be when I was wearing that pink frilly dress? No, you know what? Your people grabbed me right off the you street. You went That's too not... far, Faith. Listen, I don't know what has gone on here tonight, but think about this, okay? Why? Why would I move against you now? Why? Because this is exactly the kind of crap that you would pull. That's right. You know what I think? I think maybe you must be attracted to me, Sonny. I mean, that's what people will think. Every time anything happens, you think of me. Someone gets stabbed, someone gets kidnapped. Oh, Elizabeth's hit and run. All roads lead to faith. And, and, and what was that? You said uh, Lily is Don't not Don't say her name. How many times do I have to tell you not to say her name. How you many, brought how up, many right? times? I don't even want to be How here. many times have I told you? Hey, 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 Faith. I think you better leave right now, Faith. Tell him to go. Don't talk, just leave. What's going on? I wish I could tell you. Not on that terrace is a hell of a trick. Corny, tell you her theory? Mm. That's all in my head? Yeah, I guess she did. Because the look in your face, I guess you think she's right. Sonny, we've all... <laughs> Come on, we've, we've all been under a lot of pressure, right? And now, now Lily's grave is desecrated. Sometimes your mind goes to some strange places. Look, I'm just trying to work through logical explanations. That's it. What if there are none? There always is. Yeah? You think it's logical that Lily and my unborn child were taken away from me in the exact horrible second for a car bomb that was meant for me? You think it's logical that AJ threw Carly down the stairs and another child of mine died? It's not the same as this. The only... Okay. The only reason I stay sane is because I do accept that things happen for no logical reason. Like tonight, for example. Lily's grave was destroyed. Carly's in the hospital with complications. And out of nowhere, out of nowhere, there's a disfigured woman outside of my window. What are you getting at? What I'm getting at is signs, omens. Somebody's trying to tell me something. Uh, you know, we, need, we, just, we just need to go back to the hospital, okay? You can see Carly. No, 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 talk, no, no, no. I don't want Carly this. to know. I don't want Carly to know about this, and you tell Courtney, too. I don't want to upset my my wife right before she's having a baby. Okay. Where you, just let me drive you no, somewhere. Where you going? I gotta be someplace alone. Don't even try to follow me. Nicholas? Capelli, what are you doing here? Uh, good question. What do you want, Capelli?
were the victim of a brutal attack. Just wanted to make sure you weren't vulnerable for another one. Well, I wasn't aware I'd been placed under police protection. Well, it's nothing official, Nicholas. I just had a hunch that your security could be tightened. And I was right. So I'm going to put a couple of plain clothes on the floor. You won't even know that we're here. Yes. Don't you just hate cops? Look. <laughs> Oh, I don't really think about him one way or the other. What happened to you? Oh, just a, a couple of thugs. All right, so, uh, so not that I'm not, like, honored or anything, but why, why are you in here? I was bored, <laughs> taking a walk, and, um... Nicholas, do you have any reason to believe that you were beat up on Lorenzo Alcazar's orders? Carly, hey. what, what do you what do you think you're doing? Hello, um, uh, you know you're just in time. Are you supposed no, to harass hello, me? No, I'm trying. I'm trying. Instead of harassing. I'm not Nicholas? harassing Nicholas. Do you feel harassed? No, I didn't think so. Okay, I have a feeling that Alcazar's people beat up Nicholas. And how is that your business? Okay, I just I live in Alcazar's apartment, and I and I saw a document with your name on it. I had completely forgotten about it until I saw you here, and I just. I'm thinking maybe that he's interested in you and, and your family. Do you have any idea why? Uh, that's being handled. Okay. I'm speaking to Nicholas. And I'm going to tell Nicholas, don't discuss anything with her. Okay, now I resent that because I can be helpful uh, right now. No, okay. you can't. So are you going to go back to bed on your own or am I going to have to carry you? Which I'm one? I'm having a... Which one? Thank you. Bye, Nicholas. Everything's fine. Where's Carly? I, I don't know exactly, but she didn't go into labor. There's no medical emergency. I paid... Where's my wife, Courtney? Jason's looking for her, okay? I, I'm sure he's tracked her down by now. Okay, you know... Where the hell you been? I had a lecture from Jason on this, so if you don't mind, I'd rather skip this one. Okay, Carly, don't do that with me. You swore you'd never put our baby at risk again. I went for a walk. You're in the hospital, in a bed, for a reason. Instead of instead of staying there like a sensible pregnant woman would, you're out roaming the halls. Where, where, I don't, where were you? Up on the roof? Where any, anybody who wants to hurt me can have a clear shot at you? Okay, you realize you're being completely over the top about this. I didn't go for a walk in a dark alleyway by myself. I am in a hospital. I took a stroll down the hallway where there are doctors and nurses and patients all around. The Queens of Angels was supposed to be safe the night of Courtney and Jason's wedding. Look what happened. Stop thinking about yourself and how bored you are and start paying attention to keeping our baby safe. Did you just hear that? What the hell is going on with him? He thinks he's going to lose you. I'm not saying he's right, or even rational, but it's what he fears. Come on, Sonny knows I would never leave him. But just like Jason would never leave me. But that didn't stop me from convincing myself that he would after I lost the baby. Yeah, but Sonny knows how much I love him. I mean, <laughs> we have been through hell and back together at least a dozen times. But that makes it even worse, Carly. I mean, you are the best, most precious thing that has ever happened to him. And what has this life taught him? I mean, everything he treasures, he loses. That pattern hasn't been broken yet. I just, I think Sonny feels like he's had more happiness than he deserves. You know, and the closer you get to having that baby, the more he's going to be convinced that something awful is going to happen. I know. I know, I know, I know, you're right. He's just worried about the baby. He's all wound up, and I should have thought about it from his perspective. Hey, I'm not saying he's right. Good, believe me. <laughs> I mean, he can't expect you to be understanding when he's going off on you. So he's afraid, and I think that it was the fear that made him go off. Uh, you know what I'm realizing? What? It is a damn good thing that we all found each other. I mean, who else is going to put up with a bunch of twisted paranoids like us? Huh? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but... We got love. Yeah, that we are. Hey, Jason, come here. What's wrong? Is this about Carly? Yeah, What's going on? yeah she's, being, she's being pig-headed. She's insisting on wandering the halls instead of 
being in bed resting. Alka's are showing up here whenever he wants to, so I need you to put two people on her at all times. I want somebody in front of her room, somebody on the stair... No, wait. Back. I want three people. Somebody in front of her room, somebody on the stairwell, somebody in front of the elevator, okay. and actually Sonny, we should put... Sonny, What? Just listen to yourself. What? You think I'm overreacting? Well, you... Come on, I know you're worried. It's understandable, but everything's fine. You gotta relax and accept that Carly's fine and your baby's fine. I'm not. I didn't want to tell you. I don't want to. I don't want to get into this, but uh, I'm saying things. What? What kind of things? I went to Lily's grave to make sure that everything's back in order. I looked down at the headstone. Lily's name was not on it. Carly's name was. Freaked me out. Turned away. Turned back. Lily's name was back on it like it always was. Now my mind is playing tricks. You should have seen me before. I almost took Carly's head off because she, she was walking she'll be, on. She'll be okay. Why are you punishing, punishing yourself over Lily? She forgave you, Sonny. She wouldn't want this. You gotta let it go. works, but I do understand a little bit about how this works here in this life. And I think that you will get your pardon once you give it to yourself. I mean, can you try and do that? I'm trying. Good. You keep trying, honey. Nicholas puts his life in danger when he confronts Alcazar. 
Don't miss General Hospital tomorrow. Alex Young is a star whose life couldn't be more perfect. I think I've seen her somewhere before. There, there. Until she met this regular guy. He isn't trying to impress me, and that's what impresses me. Save it for the People's Choice Awards. I'm with her. A new comedy tonight on ABC. In one day.